Hello students, let us discuss variation of atomic radius in groups and periods in the modern periodic table. Let us first talk about the variation of atomic radius in groups. First of all, let me ask you what is groups? That is, the vertical column in the modern periodic table is called as groups. So that means the elements in a group means the elements which are arranged in top to bottom in a vertical column. Just like take the example of elements in the first group which are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium. These are the atomic structure of these elements given. From this, uh, you can see that uh, in the case of lithium, there is only two shell. In the case of sodium, there are three shell. In the case of potassium, there are four, five shells. So, when we are measuring an atomic radius, that is atomic radius is the distance from the center to the outermost shell. It is a distance from the center to the outermost shell. So when you compare it, as the number of shell is increasing, that means the distance from the outermost shell also increases when we move from top to bottom in a group. So we can say that while going from top to bottom in a group, there is an increase in the principal quantum number. That is, there is increase in the number of shell. In the first case, you can see in the lithium, n is equal to 2. That means the number of shell is 2 here. In the case of sodium, it is 3. In the case of potassium, 4. In the case of rubidium, it is 5. Since the atomic radius is the distance from the center to the outermost shell, of an electron so we can say that uh, the size of an atom also goes on increasing when we move from top to bottom in a group so how the atomic radiation variate in the case of group that is atomic radius increases as we move down a group why because as we move down a group from one element to another, an extra energy level is added, which increases the size and the radius of an atom. So, when the question is asked why the atomic radius increases from top to bottom in a group, so the reason is because extra energy level is added. Why it is called as extra energy level added? Because in the case of lithium, if it is two energy level, so when we move to the another element, we can see that one more energy level is added. That means two become three. Now three to become four, four to five. So there is an extra energy level is added from one element to another. So because of this reason, we can say that uh, the atomic size is increases. Now, let us talk about the variation of atomic radius in period. Let us take some examples of element in a period. Here we have taken the example sodium, magnesium, aluminium. These are the element of same period. That is the element of third period which is taken here. Now, when you compare the atomic structure of these, you can find out that in each cases the number of electron is increasing. So in the case of sodium number of electron is 11 the number of proton is 11. Since from left to right the atomic number is increasing therefore the number of electron and proton also increases. So in the case of magnesium the atomic number is increased by 1. 
so the number of electron and proton also increase by 1 that is electron and proton is equal to 12 similarly in the case of aluminium the atomic number is increased from magnesium to aluminium therefore the number of electron also and the proton also increased so it become 13 as the number of proton is increasing we can say that the magnitude of nuclear charge increases progressively by one unit that means here it is 11 here it is 12 here 13 and it will go so progressively we can say that the number of proton are increased by one that means the magnitude of nuclear charge increases when we count the number of electron in the outermost shell it is 1 in the case of sodium it is 2 in the case of magnesium it is 3 in the case of aluminium but the inner core electrons is same in all these so what is the change that is the change in the number of electron in the outermost shell so we can say that with the increase in the atomic number from sodium to aluminium we can say that there is a magnitude of increase in the nuclear charge progressively by one that means the positive charge is increasing that is the magnitude of nuclear charge is increasing since we know that the positive charge nucleus are there for each element and the outermost electrons are strongly attracted by the nucleus so we can say that um, the magnitude of uh, nuclear charge is increasing because the number of proton is increasing progressively so we can say that uh, the magnitude of nuclear charge is increasing therefore the attraction is increasing attraction of electron that is the outermost electron towards the nucleus is increasing since there is an addition of electron takes place in the same principal shell so we can say that uh, the electrons are pulled closer to the nucleus by the increased effective nuclear charge so as the attraction increases so we can say that uh, the electrons are pulled inwards when they are pulled inwards we can say that uh, definitely the size will get uh, reduced so because of this reason we can say that um, in a period when we move from left to right we can see that uh, the atomic radius decreases so when you compare the size of sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine we can find out that um, in each case uh, there is increase in the atomic number by one and it means that uh, there is increase in the magnitude of uh, nuclear charge so the attraction increases so when you compare with sodium and magnesium in magnesium there will be more attraction because the nuclear charge of magnesium is greater than the sodium in the case of aluminium more attraction in the case of silicon more attraction so more, greater attraction takes place so because of the more attraction the electrons are pulled inward so we can say that the size will get reduced so from this what we can conclude that the atomic radius decreases from left to right in a period because the magnitude of nuclear charge increases by unit 1 while the addition of electron takes place in the same shell that means the number of shell is not increasing here so as a result the electrons are pulled closer to the nucleus by the increased effective nuclear charge so because of this reason only we can say that in a period the group one element is the most bigger in size that means the atomic radius is larger in compared to the 
element of 17th group in the same period. Now let us compare its values in a tabular form. This is a table which is given in your textbook. When you compare the values in this across the period the atomic radii in the value pm picometer it is given. Atomic radius for lithium is 152 for beryllium 111. For boron 88, 77, 74, 66, 64. That means lithium, barium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. These are the elements of same period. So we can say that uh, these are the element of the second period. And when we move from left to right, you can find out uh, the size is decreasing. Because the values which is given here. You can see these values are decreased. Similarly, when we talk about the third period element, which are the elements of third period? That is sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine. When you check the values which is given here, you can find it out the value is decreasing from left to right because the atomic radius is actually decreasing. So what is the reason which we have discussed now? Because there is an increase in the effective nuclear charge. So the electrons are pulled inward because they are more attracted towards the nucleus. So size get reduced. Let us talk about the elements in the group. So when you compare the first group element which is given here, the values for lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, the values are given like this. So you can see that there is an increase in the values when we move from top to bottom. So because of increase in the number of shell, we can say that the atomic size is increasing because the atomic radius is nothing but the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell of electron. Similarly, when you compare the size of 17 group element that is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine that is from top to bottom we can see that the atomic radius is increasing top to bottom. Let us compare in a chart form that is in a plot form. In this also you can find it out when we make a plot between the atomic radius versus atomic number. You can find out in the case of a period, we can see that uh, there is the plot is moving down with the increase in the atomic number. It shows that uh, the radius is decreasing. But in the case of a variation of atomic radius with the atomic number for alkali metals and halogen, that is in the case of group, we can say that. Uh, the atomic radius is increasing so the plot is moving upward. So this plot will also show the variation of atomic radius in the group and in the period. Let us compare the size of the element in a periodic table. In this it is clearly shown that when we are moving from left to right in a periodic table in a period we can see that the size is reducing. You can see the size is reducing. And when we move from top to bottom in a group, we can say that the size is increasing. So what is the periodic trend of atomic radius? That is, atomic radius increases from top to bottom and the atomic radius decreases from left to right in a modern periodic table. So let us see what is the periodic trend of atomic radius in the modern periodic table that is atoms get smaller from left to right in a period that means the atomic size get decreased from left to right in a period and in a group the atoms get larger from top to bottom in a group that means the atomic radius increases from top to bottom in a group. 
So this is the periodic trend of atomic radius in the modern periodic table. So this is all about the periodic trend of atomic radius in the modern periodic table which we have discussed. In the case of group we can say that atomic radius is increases and in the case of period the atomic radius decreases. So that is all about the variation of atomic radius in groups and period in the modern periodic table. Have a nice day students.